morning. You ready to get up? Come on, let's get up. <sighs> Good morning, y'all. This transition is a transition. I'm in Nala's room. Just getting ready to let her play. As per usual, am I the only one that feels so lazy to actually go to the turning table and just change in the middle of the night in the bed? I be feeling like that all the time. So in the morning, I usually just let her play, get some energy going, and then I'll start making us something to eat. It used to be I can just pop and give her some baby food, but not no more. I've been giving her bananas, but just ran out of bananas. So I will make oatmeal instead. I usually go to turn on the TV. Most of the time put on YouTube or Disney Plus. Usually in the morning she doesn't really pay attention to the TV. So I usually put on what I want to watch and then uh, put on like... Green eggs and ham on Netflix or something like that. Oh, good news. Nala did pretty well in sleeping in her crib last night. Um, last night was actually the first time we ever slept in our own room while she slept in her room. Like, I can't believe I'm saying that. Is there anyone that ever struggled and their child reverting back to not wanting to be in the crib and uh, you kind of had to go back to co sleeping and all that stuff. If you did, please give us some advice. But last night was the first time that we slept in our own room and it felt good. I haven't slept in my bed in months. Yeah, she slept all the way until like 7.20 this morning. You slept. You slept in your own crib. Yeah, you did. But another thing is I didn't realize until recently that she still shouldn't really be having middle of night feedings. I remember my doctor telling me that like when she was like one month, but I guess I kind of forgot. But I, you know, time going by, you get into your routines and you realize, oh shoot, like I need to start killing some of these habits. So um, now I've been trying my best to figure out ways to stop her from eating middle of night. I tried to give her a pacifier, that didn't work. Someone, I read a blog post that said, start only letting her feed five minutes at a time. So that's what I started doing. That does seem to work. She usually does fall asleep or stop eating within five minutes, five tops, 10 minutes. That's what I started to do. Cause usually I just let her feed until I noticed that she falls asleep. So now I need to try to get her off of her night feedings. And also I'm trying to get her off of actual formula because she, you know she's 11 months now. And I'm trying to get her in the crib. So there's a lot of transition right now. I'm not really too pressed on the middle of night feelings right now because I'm also trying to, I don't want to change so many things right now. So I'm trying to get her to get used to sleeping in a crib and not only sleeping in a crib, sleeping in a crib knowing that we're not in the room. Um, so that means that I need to try to start doing that in her room but I don't have the blackout sheets in that room so it's hard to do naps in there because it's too bright so I need to get a, a rod so I can put the blackout curtains in there then I can try to start forcing her to do her naps and all her naps so she'll know when she's in there it's time for bed but um, I'm more focused on her getting in her crib last night she slept from probably about nine to like 12 and then she woke up and then wanted to eat she ate for a couple of minutes and then she went back to sleep no it was like close to 11 and then she woke up at one then she woke up at three and then she didn't wake up again until seven so she ate like three times last night and she was waking up like she a newborn baby child and she's definitely not but i'm just glad that she was able to sleep in the crib a step at a time yeah no she didn't look at her she's also doing this side step thing she learned how to side step but she hasn't learned how to like really walk yet or stand she has done long periods of standing and fall on the ground but she is getting used to like the trust of holding on to something so i've been trying not to get a walker because of stuff i read and 
sometimes it delays the walking process but at this point i think getting a walker would probably be good because then she won't feel trapped wherever i put her so she can roam around and then she'll get used to not holding on to stuff so that's the plan probably this weekend to pick up a walker so that she'll become more independent in that way so hopefully soon she'll start to try to walk or stand i'm not trying to force a lot on her but i feel like there's a lot of transition that happening so after i figure out the crib situation then i'll try to deal with um the milk and then so on so forth now she seems a little bit up so i think i'm gonna start some oatmeal <laughs> Party mansions from this really popular attraction, Peter Pan's flight. So here, the longest line was. What's wrong, baby? You want more milk? She don't like being barricaded. Oh, look at my long tail. But it is roughly. What time is it? I hate hearing my crap, but it is roughly. About her nap time, not between nine and ten o'clock. It's okay, baby. I'm gonna get your milk. One, oop, missing. I'm coming, baby. Two. give you the bottle really quickly and then we'll put set up your mama room here I oh, know baby you gotta sit down though you tired baby oh mommy baby is sleepy It goes right here on your hand and you keep your fingers back. All right, so as you can see, Nala is asleep. And usually she sleeps an hour, 45 minutes normally. If it's a good day, hour and a half. So she's been asleep for like 15 minutes. I think uh, my belly dropped today. I am 34 and five days, something like that. So show you. So, this is what baby girl is looking like. And you might think she's still high, but I was actually higher than this. And now you tend to carry somewhat low, generally, but I started to breathe better and everything, so. From one of Beyonce choreographers and one of the artists that has worked with Alicia Keys, Beyonce. It's a beginner jazz class. A waffle crisp and candy. She didn't take a long nap at all. I think it was like 30 minutes or so. But we take what we can get. The non alcoholic, you can actually taste the apple cinnamon -y flavor from the tea more. Um, and that one does have maple syrup in it, which so it's definitely sweeter than the bourbon version. Obviously, I prefer the bourbon version, but they're both really good. So drink. you guys, it's time to rest a little bit and then try to make this area at least look good. So you ready to get out? Is my house the only one that looks like this with a baby? It's ridiculous. So it's been roughly like. I know the camera's yellow, it'll warm up. And it's been a roughly two hours since I last checked in on you guys. And I cleaned up the room a little bit, straightened up, put stuff in the corner. And as I told y'all, Nala was awake, but at this point she is still fighting sleep. She only slept for like 20 minutes earlier. That's not enough time. I'm debating if I want to take her out on a walk or not. Now I've been trying to get her into the swing 
to see if she'll go to sleep. And this is usually when it gets frustrating because this is when I'm exhausted with this girl. And then when she comes out, she wanna get picked up and I can't keep picking her up all the time. I just physically can't do it. And this is usually when we play a game of what's gonna work to put her to, to sleep. So like I said, I might end up taking her for a walk, but I might just, hopefully she either just chill out. This is probably the hardest part about being at home with her because one thing I didn't consider is how much she could probably start clinging to me. And I want her to still be independent and I can't figure out how to do that. Child, I don't know. Let's see what happens. Alright, so it looks like we are going on a walk. Really sucks because I am exhausted. It looks like I don't have a choice because it's the only way to not actually carry her. So I got some of her toys, her blanket, her bottle, and some puffs that I'm going to probably put up here. She just got her little legs up and stuff. You want your bottle? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Getting in the neighborhood. Catching on Latanya's live chat. I'm so mad I don't have my stroller because it's just not working no more. Like it does well with fitting inside of the car, but anything outside of that is just not great. This is the fast action stroller. When I put snacks in the other one, as you remember it from Disney, uh, she can actually get up and get her snacks properly. But because the seat only goes so far from where the snacks is, she just drops them and she can't really put them in her mouth and feed herself. I really hope that when we get the upper baby, the upper baby works a lot better when it comes to her snacks and her feeding herself. I'm tired. I'll catch you back at the house. So I think the last time I talked to you guys is when she was just asleep it's been a couple of hours maybe since i last spoke to you because then she woke back up and then i had to like hold on to her for like an hour for her to sleep and then we end up waking up then i had ice craving so we just came back from thornton's from getting some ice and now i'm gonna try to see if i can make this living room look a little bit decent for David get home. Now wish she just let me go a little bit. Baby's home. I'm home. Finally. Yeah, I'm hungry. Starving. What we gonna eat? Where the food at? It need to be Texas, but we about to go to Fred's. Y'all know nothing about Fred's. Fred's market. Mm-hmm. I mean, I got dress warm. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be cold in there. I don't know, but it's it rained safe. earlier. It's 64. I know the water, the the air was cold when mm. I went walking. Yeah, maybe a light jacket. Mm-hmm. So, I guess that's the next up, child. He trying to eat. Yeah. And we getting tired of spaghetti that I made. Because it lasts too long. So, I guess that's going to be a twist. Let's get something to eat.